So in product development, there is a certain manifesto known as the Agile Manifesto, and the values of that manifesto are expressed that individuals and interactions should come over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, and responding to change over following a plan. Now, these areas can be summarized in the processes of collaborating, having products be in perpetual beta format, and a process of rapid versioning. Something very similar is happening in online course design. And what we're doing is uncovering better ways of developing online courses. Our values are also emerging, such as individuals and interactions over processes and tools, effective learning over comprehensive documentation, stakeholder collaboration over negotiation, and responding to change over reacting to circumstance. And again, these can be summarized in the buckets of collaborating, perpetual beta, and rapid versioning as a process for design. Now let's take a look at an activity that's been adapted from RIBER and understanding rapid prototyping by analogy of making a paper plane. On the screen you'll see an activity. Go ahead and pause the video now and have fun playing with this activity, learning about rapid prototyping. Once you're ready, proceed and you can view another activity that has more to do with instructional design. Here we also have the do, wonder, pause, apply, and experiment protocol. And here's the activity based on a learning assessment. So try these out and remember, as you're developing online courses, it's not about putting the content up, leaving it there. It's about versioning it, making it more effective, learning from the data that you get from the students, from your faculty, from everyone implementing the course, and take that information and use it as part of your wondering and your pausing to apply and experiment and make your designs ever more effective through rapid prototyping.